everyone, welcome back to our makeover series. My name is P.A. Clark, Diamond Words Podcast. And today's very interesting. We're looking at someone who is super, super, super young. And we're gonna see where we're going, where we wanna get to, and what's on her mind. So welcome, Sydney. Thank Sydney, you. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? You're doing good, you're excited for today? Yeah, of course. Awesome, awesome. So as usual, I like to jump right into it. Tell me, why, why are you getting into some of the uh, 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 treatments that we offer? Why are you looking to 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 take on this adventure yeah i know it's a little early some people say to continue like waiting before you do stuff like this but i am a model so just preservation and doing stuff that's preventative is actually really important to me and my line of work okay so for you the primary purpose is prevention yeah right? essentially yeah i'm not looking to change anything especially like you know okay not drastically all right so on that word prevention what have you noticed that seems to need attention before it's too late? Yeah, things that I want to treat are like these lines and then the crow's feet lines too. I notice just the littlest bit of creasing, like even when I don't smile, so okay. I want okay. to address that. Okay, so with that, once you start noticing some creasing, it means that it's also a slight drop on the eyebrow right so everything plays together as one mm -hmm. and the face is like a moving canvas yeah. and over time it continues to move I love that yes unfortunately it doesn't move upward it moves yeah. downward <laughs> but, but with the innovations that we have we can definitely slow down the time of aging yeah and I, I do see and as a model you need to use your eyes you need bright a bright open face mm -hmm. and so forth I do move my face a lot I am very expressive right so that's part of it too. right do you mind me asking how old are you yeah I'm 26 26 years old okay and when did you start noticing um, that you may need a, a little bit of touches here or there. With the crow's feet, I think within the last year, and then with the smile lines, maybe maybe the last few years, they haven't, I still don't think they're bad, but I just want to do that prevention, like right, I said. Right, right. And now the smile lines here, where we record the nasolabial folds mm -hmm. also, I see one side is a little more than the other side, which that's common with everyone. Mm -hmm. So tell me, which side is your good side? Left, let me guess, your right side is your good side. I I never really favor no, a side. No, you don't favor a side. But whatever, okay. I'll take yeah, yours. Yeah, because typically, Typically, the good side is the side that's higher. So okay. everyone has a low and a high side. Yeah, I might favor just because I'm right-handed. I might just favor because the right you were, side. But the low side typically occurs and have a slight more uh, uh, lines as the other side, but also a slight lowerness of the cheeks and the jaw lines as well. So everyone has this, you know, yeah. the, from the most beautiful individual to not everyone has one side that's slightly different than the other yeah. side top versus the bottom now with that top versus the bottom is also there's a difference of the top and the bottom so with the face itself what I'm looking at I'm looking for some of the changes that occur mm -hmm. you know getting the low side closer to the high side yeah. my interest is not symmetry right but my interest is harmony, getting yeah. everything to work together. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up in the morning, you look at yourself, you're like, wow, I'm gonna seize the day, right? right. We want that yeah. initial thought. Is there anything else that maybe you wouldn't do today, but anything else that's been on your mind? Um, I'm always interested, like I think I have a nice jawline, but that's another thing that I would do preventatively, just mm -hmm. like, anything around here mm -hmm. or like under eye filler just because I'm sensitive about that eye area that's right. something that I would be willing to address at some point as at well. At some point in time. Okay so it's interesting that you mentioned the jawline <laughs> and so forth. You know when we talk about makeovers we're not just talking about the housewife with a couple of kids and, and really you know things are going in the direction she doesn't want. A makeover could be for anyone, whether they're 18 or 25 or 45, it doesn't matter. What matters is what bothers you and what, what you are willing to change. So what I do, we, or what we do is redesign. We give you the tools to design what you want to look for and what you want to look like. So on that note, Sydney, 
um, I will take you into my magic room. I love it. And we're going to do another tiny, tiny consultation. And from there, we're going to work on whatever you decide. Yeah. It may be exactly what you're talking about, the eyes and the mm -hmm. nasal lip. It may be a little bit of something else also, but you'll Amazing. see. Yes, <laughs> we're, we're going to make that decision together inside. So are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so let's, let's, go. let's go. All right, we are back with Cindy, and now we're going to have a little mini, tiny, tiny consult before I actually start everything. I really do want to take a really close look at Cindy's skin and her features and really go over what I'm exactly going to do. So Cindy, very good. Um, I would say I love your eyes and I think your eyes are your redeeming feature. It really opens up your face a lot. Mm -hmm. But what I would say is, and this is not what I do, but I will create a little bit more landscape under the brow by just cleaning slightly a little bit on the eyebrow itself. What happens when you open your eyes? The eyelash and the eyebrows kind of meet yeah. together and it takes away a little bit of that clearness on, on the buff that you can do so much stuff with. Right. The second thing is, I agree with you, the crow's feet, 100%. And the reason why for that is to get these brows slightly up, slightly a little higher. Yeah. Perfect. Also, the glabella zone. Glabella zone isn't only for this. Mm -hmm. Glabella zone has three muscles, and sometimes those muscles also pull down. Okay. And it's that pulling down that gives us that angry stare. Yeah. Do you remember when you were younger and you, you would draw someone who's either happy or sad, and to draw someone who's angry, you put the eyebrows down? Right. So that's what we evolve into over mm -hmm. time, and that's why when you were 15... Of course we don't want that. That's right. So when you were 15, we thought that everyone... 40 plus was always angry and grumpy because yeah. the eyebrows were down. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that. So we're going to lift these eyebrows back up and create more of an empathetic or even neutral yeah. feature. Uh, we wouldn't touch the forehead now because mm -hmm. I really want to concentrate on the eyes. Yeah. So that's going to be glabella, eyebrow lift, crow's feet, and a touch under the eye. Second is nasal labial fold. I see you can see both sides are slightly different. Mm -hmm. Also, both sides have a different angle. This angle goes out, this angle goes down. Yeah, you see? I see that. Right, and that, that tells me the differences in the face. So the angle that goes down, which creates that line, has a higher cheek and more muscle activity on this side. Mm -hmm. So this side is more uh, muscle activity, this side is less, but the upper face on this side is higher. Mm -hmm. The lower face and cheek on this side is higher. So those are those differences we're working with. When I work on your nasal label, you get it closer to symmetry, but my focus is not symmetry. My focus is harmony, not symmetry. So we'll work on that nicely. And at some point in the future, when you do return, we're gonna talk about the lips. Not bigger lips, not full lips, but getting your lips to the point where it complements your entire feature. Yeah. By doing this would also complement the lip a little bit as well. Cool. Okay? Yeah, awesome. sounds good. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah, right. thank you. So what I'm doing now, I am getting some of my this sport already. Yes, we are nummy. What are you doing, Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm, I'm applying a topical numbing cream. Now, the one I have is like magic. It starts to work in like 30 seconds. And you can see I'm not putting a copious amount of it on. We're just putting it just lightly. And in the areas we're going to work on. Very good. Awesome. <coughs> Are you nervous a little bit? No, I appreciate your consultation. In the past, I definitely have been nervous to do anything in the forehead just because my expressions are really important I for see. my work. Yeah. But yeah. I feel good because you It'd listened to what I needed, so now I feel great. <laughs> Very good. Awesome. So I'm going to come around to the other side, and I'm going to ask you that to animate again. Now okay. this sometimes you feel a little tiny, 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 tiny stain for a split second and it's all gone. Okay. Um, and it's going to be worse here. Everything else is going to be a piece of cake. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now I want to squeeze angry for me. Really angry and then relax.
so Cindy what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove this crack in the skin here yeah that's the main thing that I'm concerned about yeah so today you can see it disappear So I would definitely say um, at the ages between let's say 17 and 21, prevention is not a thing that we think of. We think more of not even restoring, we just think of creating what we want, right? Between the ages of, I would say, let's say, between the age of 18 and 28, we're not changing things we're, we're designing the face that we want we're not leaving it up to our genetics to say that well, you're gonna have this type of nose for the rest of your life or you're gonna have these creases or this line we can actually change that and redesign what we're looking for just like we redesign our hair or the, or the color of our clothes or our makeup the only difference is that this is medical and everything else is not good so this is just one side we're working on and you'll see take a quick look and see what that side is amazing very good yeah so this what you see now should last you approximately one year or more especially mm -hmm. if you do not sleep on your face okay so now we are jumping to the other side very good. Now this side is different, which means the technique is going to be different on this side versus the other one. Yeah. So quick. Very quick. Oh, so wait. Mm -hmm. in terms of results, you said the filler, you know, you showed it to me. Mm -hmm. What about the disc for it? So the dye sport is going to last you approximately anywhere between three and five months. So three to five months is what dye sport is going to last. It works very fast. Wow. So within the next one to two days, you will notice a considerable change in the way your eyes appear. Okay. Very good. Now maintenance for this, my only, my only request and the only promise you must give me is that yes. you're not going to sleep on your face. Of course. Meaning you're not going to sleep on the side, you're not going to try to balance it on the side of your ear, you're going to sleep on your back. Absolutely. In doing that, you're going to reduce the amount of pressure on the face. Once these products are applied, any type of pressure, whether it's external pressure or internal pressure, can change results a little bit right so you want to sleep on the back as much as you can sounds good you can work out if you want to work out today you can walk if you want to walk today none of that changes the results the only thing that changes the results is pressure applied to the face yeah. and that usually happens from putting your face in a donor for a massage or sleeping on the face okay yeah. what about is drinking like is there anything i need to know about that well for 24 to 48 hours you really shouldn't be drinking alcohol 24 to 48 hours right. uh smoking is horrible for the skin so nothing tends to heal good when you're smoking that includes vaping or any other substance that uh, tickles you so we don't want the smoking we don't want the drinking or anything else Sounds now good. does that mean that that people don't do I'm sure many people do and nothing really happens but the probability of bruising increases if you drink alcohol also right. yeah for me um, the results are my priority so I'm happy to not drink for free absolutely yeah. you mean for the rest of your life so that yeah. you'll be very happy Perfect. awesome yeah. for the rest of her life she's not gonna drink so if you ever see her on video <laughs> drinking you know all right so if you take a look at your face you're gonna see already your face has changed and we haven't done a lot just a little bit before that 
Yeah, I love yeah. how this looks. Already. Absolutely. So you had two different techniques in the same area. So on this area was more or less the crack in the skin and a little fold. And this area was just reshaping to match this side. So two different treatments were done on other side of Amazing. the face. Amazing, yeah. No, it, it definitely looks even, so I Absolutely. appreciate that. Perfect. And I would love to see you for your lips and your nose at some point in time. We didn't mention the nose, but what happens with the nose is we lose fat in the nose. And nose is part of aging. It doesn't mean you're old and you're getting so old. It just means that your genetics is causing the nose to change. And if you don't want that change to occur too quickly, then we're going to talk. So for now, that was uh, part one of our makeup series with Cindy. In two weeks, we're going to see what Cindy actually looks like after this result. And even though it's great today, it will be better in two weeks. Now we're here, two weeks post, disport treatments to the forehead, glabella, and crow's feet. We have Cindy here after Two weeks. Cindy, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, great. how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, tell me some of the experiences you went through with the treatment itself. Oh, how yeah. How did you feel? When did it start working? What mm -hmm. did you notice first? Um, I felt a little, like, maybe tingly in the face. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just a sensation, um, like, that lasted maybe a day. That got used to that it was easy and i tried to make sure good. i stayed hydrated i didn't drink very like you told good. me very for like two good. weeks i slept how you told me too and that was mainly it i didn't feel much and i tried to be really mindful of yes. it yes. um and that's pretty much and it that's it was really much. easy very yeah no easy. no bruising nothing no like bruising that. so uh based on the forehead now i'm gonna ask a few questions in terms of you know animation and so forth mm -hmm. so let's see let's take a look in the camera and raise your eyebrows up as high as possible okay so you have still movement so this mm -hmm. is a 90 percent treatment meaning that you're not frozen yeah which means that i've given you the ability to kind of move your eyebrows and create expression without creating lines mm -hmm. so some people want it frozen yeah and others they kind of want it natural so you're the natural exactly. type you want it natural let's go ahead and squeeze angry between so you can't really squeeze but you still have again 90 percent no movement mm -hmm. so 10 percent movement meaning that you can still kind of move it but you're not crunching the skin yeah. like you were before mm -hmm. so this is what it called a mild treatment we can go more a higher treatment or even a higher level where everything's frozen but not everyone loves frozen let's see my big smile for me very good so nothing on the side i would say this is a home run it was a wonderful and excellent treatment that was done mm -hmm. it looks great because everything looks good i don't know if we did anything else did we do something else okay very good so <laughs> one of the things what i love about seeing my patients after is I have to guess what I did because if it looks natural, I shouldn't be able to tell what I did. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy to see it comes off very, very natural. Are you very happy with it? Yeah. Did, was I'm there happy any with bruising? Everything. No, there wasn't any bruising and ultimately it did look super natural. So I felt amazing as soon as I left, but then like seeing it like yes. two weeks after too, yes. I still feel like myself and that was yes. my biggest worry. So yes. I really appreciate yes. it. Yes. Can they can they tell you that because everything's smooth here, now I'm seeing your eyes a lot mm -hmm. prettier you she has some emerald eyes right is it <laughs> emerald green what is it what yeah pretty much eyes? yeah right <laughs> I mean, it's, do, what is your background where were your parents born oh i'm swedish and hungarian swedish and hungarian okay so i've seen many hungarians with the greenish eyes yeah so my mom has the green eyes yeah. okay the slavic right da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah yeah very good okay <laughs> so i do love this too i love everything there's really nothing more i would do unless you came to me and say hey, I'm thinking about having this done. What is your thoughts? And then I will do it. But for right now, I think everything is perfect. You're going to see me in about four months to mm -hmm. repeat everything or any time between then to do anything additional. Uh, again, there's really nothing else that you need to do. Mm -hmm. But I'm so happy that you like the trimmer. I'm so yeah, happy I love that it. it looks great. Um, this is what the treatment is supposed to be about. And the two-week follow-up should be there to either do a minor tweak or nothing at all thank you very much for checking us out and watching this great makeover series don't forget to click subscribe for more information for more wonderful videos and for more gorgeous beautiful people <laughs> in your living room every day <laughs>